It's not that we enjoy trying to like get around the rules. This is just like all camera gear that we can't put in our check bag. Hey y'all, I'm Kara and this is my husband Nate. We've been traveling the world full time for almost four years and we are getting really close to reaching our goal of visiting 100 countries. Yesterday, we went to our 93rd country of Liechtenstein, where we hung out with the prince at his castle. Never thought I would say those words. And today, we are flying to our 94th country. Now for the hard part. Don't judge me. I'm carrying two extra pairs of shoes. Oh, now I know how Karen's felt for the last three years. <laughs> Uh-oh. No way. <laughs> yes! It's usually not quite so hard, but on the company that built that awesome mountain hut that we stayed in, they gave us a couple new pairs of shoes and some new gear, and we just haven't been able to part with it yet. All right, y'all, we have exactly 14 Swiss francs left that we need to spend before we leave the country. So, oh, we are stocking up on our favorite Swiss chocolate that we've had since we've been here. And we have tried a lot of them. This brand, Kalia, Kalia, it's supposed to be the best. You can only get it here. Thank you. This will last us one, two, three, four, five days. <laughs> <laughs> We are back <laughs> Sorry. at the train station because today we are catching a train and heading to the airport and flying to our 94th country. Ukrainian Airlines, which is an airline that we've never flown before, and I've read online that they're really strict about baggage. These backpacks that we carry weigh about 12 kilos, and they're supposed to weigh seven. <laughs> Almost double. We've come up with a strategy. We're going to attempt to sneak all of our heavy stuff into these bags, and then set it close behind the counter so that they don't see it. So when they make us weigh these, they'll be light enough, and then afterwards we'll just <laughs> we'll see how this goes. We really just need to get rid of some stuff. Made it through check-in, but the lady specifically told us there would be another check when we were getting on the plane. I think she was on to us. It's been a couple of crowded trains today. Yeah. tourist here. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Uh, uh, uh. 
Huh. <laughs> if you can't tell from Kara's happy dance, we didn't get our luggage weighed. The lady literally had a scale in her hand and somehow chose not to wear her stuff. <sighs> I'm sweating so much in the sweatshirt. It's actually a sweatshirt. Like a shirt full of sweat. We've officially been sent into our 94th country. <laughs> Welcome to Ukraine. Great. For some reason, the most money I could figure out how to withdraw out of that ATM was $8. That was the maximum of withdrawal amount. So we now have the equivalent of eight USD in Ukrainian dollars, and we are going to figure out how to get to our Airbnb. Okay. They have Uber here, which makes life way easier. Going in the queue. Thank you. Oh wow, such fancy doors. <laughs> Goodbye. Wow. Sweet home. <laughs> this is probably the most interesting Airbnb that we have ever stayed in. Look how much space we have. We just came from Switzerland where it was $150 per night to stay in a tiny room and some of them didn't even have bathrooms. And now we're living in a palace. For how much a night? Less than half. Less than half of what we paid in Switzerland. With oh, they even have a balcony. Kitchen. Living space. So much space. I can't remember the last time we were in places. <laughs> look, look at this artwork. And then over here, like the entrance, a golden door, whatever that thing is, a street lamp. <laughs> Plenty of sofa space. Are you ready for this? We have a sauna. Our own sauna with hot rocks. This wow, it's actually big. really big. And jacuzzi, waterfall shower. Bedroom. <laughs> that didn't sound very soft. We can unpack all of our stuff and put it somewhere. Out of the way, not like in the middle of the floor. Look how high the ceiling is. Like, how do you even think about getting up to that? You need a ladder. If we had the double oh. stuff, there is a ladder. Wow. You actually have to use a ladder to get into the cabinets. So this is home for the next week. It's gonna be a good week. So. Can we go on the balcony? I'm pretty sure one of the main squares is right there. See the fountains. So Switzerland was great, and I think it was totally worth like all of the expensive prices that we've been paying over the last couple of weeks, but I'm really excited to be in Eastern Europe. <laughs> <laughs> in a place like this that costs less than $75 a night and somewhere where we can afford to go out to eat again. <laughs> I enjoyed our grocery store picnics in Switzerland. I really yeah. did. But I'm looking forward to going to a restaurant tonight. Speaking of. All right, let's go find some food. Yay, Kiev! Where'd you go? Get out of the way. <laughs> 